Hi, my name is Brett Gillio, and today I'll be sharing a project that several people have been working on for the past few months called Org Web Ring. The essential idea behind Org Web Ring is to take the power of creating a website with Org Mode and its built-in features to control HTML and XML output and utilize it to share blogs, Git commits, or other RSS or Atom static feed content to share directly with your audiences. My website is created entirely using org mode, and I love the amount of flexibility it offers me while keeping everything quite simple. I am able to put information about myself, a blog, and my org web ring tool directly on the, home, on the home page using simple org syntax. As you can see, I am currently displaying three posts on my website. The first is the Geeks Day announcement, the second is a quarterly financial update from SourceHut, and the third is a post from Drew DeVault's blog. Drew DeVault, by the way, his open ring is what helped inspire what is today org web ring. All this information is gathered using a sort of manifest file that org web ring will use to acquire and place the information in the correct format according to your specification. Additionally, you can see that the Geeks Day announcement is post is pinned. The stylization is likewise controlled by using CSS. You can add nice subtle color changes on mouse hover or control the size of the flex boxes all using standard CSS. Let's examine a simple scenario of using Org Web Ring. After you have Org Web Ring installed, you'll be able to create a manifest file that looks something like this. This particular manifest file is an example offered in the repository under the assets directory. Please feel free to utilize them as a starting point if you are interested in using Org Web Ring. As you can see here, we are able to place an RSS or Atom feed in this file and specify information about the feed we wish to produce. For example, the total number of items, and the total number of entries per source item. Additionally, you are able to filter posts you feel would not be relevant to your web ring. We can take this example file and run the dispatch and see the result. The web ring displays a proper summary set to a character limit you can specify. Additionally, all the links in the web ring are navigatable and will open in a new tab. That way, if someone wishes to view the content, they simply need to click on the title or their source name. Now, this a particular example is not stylized because we have not given the website a CSS file to reference. But let's examine what is happening from behind the scenes a little bit. From inside of the org mode file, let's run the org web ring function. As you can see, it takes that XML file and processes it into the correct HTML. You will then be able to embed this org function into another org file to be able to display it on your website. Pretty neat. Let's look at, an, at another example. On my website, we have an example of using org web ring to reply to another blog post. What I have here is a post from Drew DeVault's blog. It is showcased clearly at the top as a single entry, and you can see it is pinned. The pinning functionality ensures that this post is moved to the front of the hypothetical web ring and guaranteeing its visibility. This is then coupled with a few changes such as disabling the generation time, which would not be relevant to the readers, and a change of the text in the header to demonstrate it is indeed used as a reply. An example of this is also provided in the assets directory. Last, we can use org web ring as a blog planet, which is one of my favorites. This takes after the Emacs Life Planet, which I believe is moderated by Sasha and others, as well as the Haskell and OCaml planets. A planet for the uninitiated is a curated form of content sharing about a set of topics. The Emacs Life, Haskell, and OCaml planets, as their names imply, cover Emacs, Haskell, and OCaml blogs, respectively. Likewise, my planet covers programming language theory and category theory primarily. It works in essentially the same way as the org web ring. You provide it with a list of feeds that get parsed. However, unlike the web ring, the planet function has no limits on the number of entries per source and the displayed number of posts is increased significantly. Additionally, the syndicates, or sources, have their feeds shown visibly to users who may wish to fetch them. A planet is typically meant to be a standalone page and not something you would embed in another page like a web ring. All of this is provided under a single file in the org web ring package as the code reuse is quite high. Aside from my own website, we can view the org web ring being used in neat contexts with varying stylizations. Here's a nice example from Mikhail Kirilov at w96k.ru, featuring a four symmetrical flexbox layout. 
and appropriate Russian language time encoding, which can be also set in the OrgWebRing manifest. Another is an example from Camilo Mezegayete using OX Hugo with OrgWebRing, and likewise correct, features the correct Spanish time encoding. Last, my other website, workircd.org, shows the WebRing being used in combination with OCaml's tooling Supalt to fetch Git logs for that project. You may obtain org web ring directly from SourceHut and add it to your load path. Additionally, you will need to obtain xmlgen.el, which is unfortunately not yet on Elpa, although I have been trying to get this rectified so I do not have to rewrite org web rings XML to HTML parser. Or, if you're one of the cool kids using my favorite package manager, GNU Geeks, you can obtain it like so. All of the documentation for OrgWebRing is available on the SourceHut website or in the README file after you check it out from the Git tree. There are so many ways to customize OrgWebRing, as there are just as many variables as there are parts and components to OrgWebRing for you to change. All of this is able to be done simply from that same manifest file. Now, taking a moment to examine some of the OrgWebRing code, you can see it is all done in the same ELISP that everybody else is used to. Now, admittedly, my ELISP is not as strong as probably somebody else's, so if you are an ELISP ninja, please feel free to send a contribution or a patch and tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's I am not going to be offended by that at all. I would love to see this code to improve. Um, otherwise, I don't think it's half bad. Um, considering that my experience with Lisps is usually in Scheme, me moving from Scheme to ELISP was not all that hard. Um, taking the uh, syntax apart, we are able to see that we can um, uh, fetch URLs, which are then parsed and filtered, sorted, and then kind of reverse sorted, ra rather, to get you to the uh, web ring result. Um, all of this is then passed through different parts of the xmlgen.el functions, which gets you that HTML that you saw earlier. OrgWebRing is fully free software, distributed under the GNU General Public License versions 3 or later at your option. I love accepting patches and collaborating. I hope you will consider using OrgWebRing. You can contact me on Freenode, OFTC, or many other IRC, IRC networks at Brett Gilio or email me at brettg at gnu.org. Thanks so much to Amin Bandali and the Emacs Conf organizers and to you, the audience. Thanks.